Hello everyone, this is Teacher Novi and for today's video, i-discuss natin ang Quarter 1, Week 2, Lesson 1 ng Mathematics 9. Ang Solving Quadratic Equations by Extracting Square Roots. Our learning objective, number 1, solve quadratic equations by extracting square roots. But before tayo makapag-solve ng quadratic equations using the method uh, extracting square roots, kailangan alam muna natin yung mga perfect square numbers. Ano nga ba ang perfect square numbers? Ito yung 1, 4, 9, 16, 25, 36, and so on. Marami pang iba. A perfect square is a number that is the product of two equal factors. Gaya nga nito, two equal factors, yung 1, 1. 2 and 2, 3 and 3, kaya naging perfect square number ang kanilang product. Okay? So, ayan. Another example of uh, perfect square numbers, 36, 49, 64, 81, 100, 121, 144, and marami pa. Okay? Before tayo makapag-solve ng quadratic equation using extracting the square root, kailangan alam natin kung paano mag-extract ng square root ng isang number. Okay? So, sa review natin ngayon, determine the square roots of the following radicals. Oh, yan. Merong 5, square root of 49, square root of 81, square root of 16, square root of 12, and square root of 50. So, kailangan alam natin itong mga to. So, what is the square root of 49? That is... 7. Why 7? Because 7 times 7 is equal to 49. Next, what is the square root of 81? That is 9. Then, the square root of 16, that is a perfect square number. That is 4. How about in number 4? 12 is not a perfect square number. Kaya ang mangyayari dito, hahanap tayo ng factors ng 12. And kailangan yung isang factor ay perfect square number. Anong possible factors ng 12? So, pwedeng 6 and 2, pwedeng 4 and 3. So, ang choice natin, choices natin ay dalawa, or pwede 12 and 1. Pero nga, ang hinahanap natin dito ay yung my perfect square number. Para masimplify natin yung square root of 12. Kaya gagamitin natin yung 4 and 3. Because 4 is a perfect square number. Okay? Ayan. So, ito yun na yung factors niya. 4 times 3. Extract natin yung square root ng 4. That is 2. Since wala namang square root si 3, or hindi naman siya perfect square number, may iwan na lang siya sa loob ng radical sign. Okay? So, ang simplified answer ng square root of 12 ay 2 square root of 3. Next, in number 5, again, this is not a perfect square number. Kaya hahanap ulit tayo ng factors niya. Gagamitin natin yung 25 and 2. So, the square root of 25 is 5 and then square root of 2. Square root of 15, simplified form, is 5 is square root of 2. Ayan. Pag alam na natin ito, pwede na tayong mag-proceed sa Solving quadratic equations by extracting square roots. Quadratic equations that can be written in the form x squared equals to r, where r could be any real number, can be solved by the method called extracting square roots. Okay, si r daw ay any real numbers. And by the way, extracting square root method is usually used pag ang present terms natin ay quadratic term at saka constant term. Okay? Mas madali kasi. Meron tayong tatlong properties under the method extracting square root. Property number one. If r is greater than 0, then x squared is equal to r has two real solutions or roots. x is equal to positive or negative square root of r. Property number 2, if r is equal to 0, 
Then x squared equals to r has one real solution or root. That is x is equal to 0. Property number 3. If r is less than 0, then x squared equals to r has no real solutions or roots. Magbibigay tayo ng example under each property. Example number 1. Find the solutions of the equation x squared minus 36 equals to 0 by extracting square roots. Paano ang gagawin natin dito? So, here is the solution. I-transform muna natin into x squared equals to r form yung ating equation. Ayan, yung negative 36 transpose natin sa kabilang side ng equation. Kaya ito na yung nangyari. So, ano nang next step natin dito? According to property number 1, if e, r if r is greater than 0, then there are two real solutions. Positive or negative, square root of r. Kaya ang next step, ayan, x is equal to positive or negative square root of 36. Since 36 is a perfect square number, pwede natin siyang i-extract. Okay, what is the square root of 36? That is... 6. Ang sagot natin dito ay dalawa. X is equal to 6 or negative 6. Property number 1 is true to example number 1. Nakuha ba? Okay, another example. Solve the equation X squared equals to 0. According to property number 2, if the value of r is equal to 0, then there is only one solution or one root. Ano yung root na nakalagay doon? That is, x is equal to 0. Kaya ang mangyayari sa solution natin dito. Since naka -form, na, nasa form na siya ng x squared equals to r, walang mababago. And then, finally, ilalagay na lang natin yung sagot niya na 0. Kasi nga, yung r natin is 0, kaya automatic ang x natin ay 0. Nakuha? Good. Now, for the third example, find the roots of the equation x squared plus 9 equals to 0. So, solution. I-transform ulit natin into x squared equals to r. Transpose natin yung positive 9 sa kabilang side ng equation. Kaya magiging x squared equals to negative 9. Balik ulit tayo sa properties. Property number 3. Kung saan sinabi na if r is less than 0, then x squared equals to r has no real solutions or roots. Therefore, in our example in number 3, since r is equal to negative 9, then the equation x squared plus 9 equals 0 has no real solutions or roots. Kasi nga, less than 0 c r natin dito. Kaya automatic yan, wala siyang roots. Okay? So, pag nakita nyo ganito na yung equation ninyo, wag na kayong mag-solve-solve pa. Automatic ilagay ninyo, no roots or no solution. Next, example number 4. Find the solutions of the equation quantity x minus 3 squared minus 81 equals to 0. Paano ang gagawin dyan? I-transform ulit natin into x squared equals to r form. Ito, itong term na to as 1 yan ha. Huwag niyong paghihiwalayin. Huwag niyong i-expand. Okay? So, ganyan ang mangyayari. Mag yung negative 81 ang itatranspose natin sa kabilang side ng equation. So, x or quantity x minus 3 squared is equal to 81. And then, extract the square root of both sides ng equation natin. Kaya magka-cancel yung squared niya dito. And then, i-extract mo yung square root ng 81. Ang mangyayari, may iiwan si x minus 3. And then, the square root of 81 is positive or negative 9. 
Pero hindi pa dyan nagtatapos yung solution natin. Hindi yan yung final answer. Kasi ang hinahanap natin dito is the value of x alone. Okay? So, ang mangyayari, paghihiwalayin natin itong positive negative 9 na yan. Okay? So, we will transpose negative 3 sa kabilang side ng equation. And then, ihiwalay natin yung positive and negative 9. So, for the first value of x, unahin natin yung positive. Positive 9 plus 3, that is equal to 12. This is the first value of x. And then, for the second value, negative naman, negative 9 plus 3, that is equal to negative 6. Therefore, the solutions of the quadratic equation, quantity x minus 3 squared minus 81 equals 0, is 12 or negative 6. This is now the final answer. Okay? So, pag ganito, may nakita kayong ganito sa sagot ninyo, hindi yan yung final answer nyo ha. Huwag kayong mag-stop dyan kasi kulang. Okay. Now, it's your turn. Try to answer this problem. Just try. Okay, so let's solve together. Transform natin into the form x squared equals to r. Kaya naging x squared equals to 100. Nag-transpose tayo. So, anong napansin ninyo sa r natin that is greater than? Zero. Kaya ang sagot natin dito is kaya ang roots dito ay dalawa. Okay? So, x is equal to positive x is equal to positive or negative square root of 100. What is the square root of 100? That is n. The roots of the equation x squared minus 100 equals zero is Positive 10 or negative 10. Nakuha? Nice. Ayan. So, isipin lang natin kapag nagsasolve tayo ng quadratic equation by extracting the square roots ay itong tatlong properties na to. Okay? So, pag pansinin ninyo agad yung value ng R if it is greater than 0, equals to 0, or less than 0. Para malaman mo kung ilan yung roots ng quadratic equation. Okay? That's it for our lesson. Under solving quadratic equations using extracting square roots. So, I hope meron kayong natutunan sa lesson natin ngayon. Pag may mga hindi clear, balikan nyo lang yung video or yung part ng video na to na hindi ninyo naintindihan, okay? Pwede namang i-replay. So, yun lang. Thank you for listening and watching this video. Stay home and stay safe, everyone. God bless. Bye!